активне відеозвернення до Верховного головнокомандувача Збройних сил України Володимира Олександровича. Juru bicara militer Rusia Letnan Jenderal Igor Konasenkov tanggal 5 September merilis pasukan Dirgantara Rusia, pasukan rudal, dan artileri meluncurkan serangan presisi tinggi ke unit dan pasukan cadangan pasukan Ukraina. Musuh kehilangan total 11 tank, 7 kendaraan tempur infanteri dan 8 kendaraan lapis baja jenis lain, 9 pikap dengan senapan mesin kaliber besar dan lebih dari 220 prajurit pada arah yang disebutkan di atas. Persenjataan presisi tinggi menetralisir pangkalan sementara Brigade Infanteri Mekanik 57 di dekat Bresnegovatoye dan Murahovka, wilayah Nikolaev. Total 287 jet tempur Ukraina, 152 helikopter, 5.340 kendaraan tempur Ukraina sudah dihancurkan Rusia sejak awal invasi. Rusia tidak mempublikasikan jumlah tentara musuh yang tewas dalam operasi militer khusus di Ukraina. Di media sosial beredar rekaman video prajurit Brigade bermotor ke-53, peleton kedua dari kompi kedua dari batalion senapan terpisah ke-59 Ukraina merilis video pesan kepada Presiden Ukraina Volodymyr Zelensky. Mereka mengaku menyerah akibat kehilangan kepercayaan pada komando Brigade ke-53 dan tidak lagi ingin bertempur di bawah unit ini. Dari kubu Kyiv, Kemenhan Ukraina merilis 300 prajurit Rusia dieliminir dalam 24 jam terakhir. Total 49.800 prajurit Federasi Rusia dan sekutu tewas sejak awal konflik hingga hari 194, 5 September. Kemenhan Ukraina merilis video bantuan alat tempur dari negara barat termasuk Polandia. Presiden Ukraina Volodymyr Zelensky menjanjikan perlawanan sengit mengusir penjajah Rusia dari tanah Ukraina. The armed forces of Ukraine continued their attempts to consolidate at several areas of Nikolaev Krivoyrok direction. Russian aerospace forces, missile troops and artillery launch high-precision attacks at the units and reserve forces of Ukrainian troops. The enemy has lost a total of 11 tanks, 7 infantry combat vehicles and 8 armored vehicles of other types, 9 pickups with large caliber machine guns and over 220 servicemen at the above-mentioned direction. High-precision armament has new neutralized provisional bases of the 57th Mechanized Infantry Brigade near Bereznivate and Murahovka, Nikolaev region. Russian aerospace forces have shot down one Mi-8 helicopter of Ukrainian Air Force near Kachubeyevka, Kherson region. Two depots for missiles, artillery armament and munitions of the armed forces of Ukraine have been destroyed near Vaznesensk and Achakov, Nikolaev region, that storaged over 1,500 rocket-propelled projectiles for multiple rocket launching systems including over 200 projectiles for U.S. manufactured HIMARS multiple rocket launchers. Operational, tactical and army aviation, missile troops and artillery continue launching attacks at the military facilities in Ukraine. High-precision attack launched by Russian aerospace forces at a provisional base of Kraken nationalist group deployed near Kharkov has resulted in the elimination of over 30 nationalists and 10 motor vehicles. Concentrated fire attacks launched as a combat position of the 85 First Air Assault Brigade near Krasnopolia, Donetsk People's Republic, has resulted in the elimination of up to 20 and wounding of over 50 armed forces of Ukraine servicemen. Six armed forces of Ukraine command posts have been neutralized near Dachne, Velika Danilovka, Kharkov region, Slavyansk, Artemovsk, Donetsk People's Republic, Poltavka, Zaporozhye region, Zelenodorsk, Dnipropetrovsk region, as well as 48 artillery units and 152 Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration areas. Five depots for missiles, artillery armament and munitions have been destroyed near Andreevka, Sady, Kharkov region, Dobrovolye, Zelenoye Polya, Donetsk People's Republic and Nikolaevka, Kherson region. One launching ramp of U.S. manufactured HIMARS multiple rocket launching system has been destroyed near Timchenki, Kharkov region. Russian air defense means have shot down five unmanned aerial vehicles near Большие Prokhode, Kharkov region, Novotroitskaya, Yegorovka, 
Новый Свет and Зеленое Поле, Donetsk People's Republic, including one Bayraktar TB2. Four U.S. manufactured high-speed anti-radar missiles have been shot down near Chernobyevka and Novaya Kachovka, Kherson region. 34 projectiles launched by HIMARS, Uragan and Alha multiple rocket launching system have been intercepted in the air near Kazatska and Chernobyevka, Kherson region. In total, 287 airplanes and 152 helicopters, 1,877 unmanned aerial vehicles, 372 air defense missile systems, 4,822 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 825 combat vehicles equipped with multiple rocket launching systems, 3,368 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 5,340 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Despite the presence of the International Atomic Energy Agency representatives at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, Kyiv regime continues provocations aimed at posing a threat to create a technological disaster. On September 4, Ukrainian troops used an attack unmanned vehicle towards the nuclear power plant. By virtue of Russian electronic countermeasures means, the Ukrainian drone lost control and fell down one kilometer far from the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Two artillery attacks launched at Nargadar have been recorded over the night. A total of six artillery projectiles have been launched from the circumferences of Marganets and Nikopol, Dnepropetrovsk region. Armed forces of Ukraine units have been neutralized by Russian artillery's counterattack. The radiation environment at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant remains normal.